it was a validating performance. It, and I'm, I'm going to keep that stretch goal, but, but I would say I was validated today. I've been working on uh, just being confident and being kind of brave going into these races and, uh, and trying, to, trying to put myself in that lead pack and, and, and compete. And so I was glad to be able to run with those guys for, you know, two thirds or three quarters of the race. And then it was tough, you know, it's just like Desi says, when you, when you swing for the fences, uh, you set yourself up for, for a hard last few miles. That's why it's scary to try. You run the mile that you're in, um, you know, to, to coin a Ryan Hall phrase, and you try to just uh, chip off where you're at and, and hope that you still have something the next mile. I found that I could cover the surges less and less, and so they would surge and I would fall off a little bit and then catch back up, and then eventually there's a surge and, and they don't come back. Um, but, it, you know, for me, it's just uh, every mile is an opportunity to run with those guys one more mile. And, and it's an impressive group of guys um, and, and fun to run with them. I'm going to keep shooting for that podium and I hope one day, you know, things fall together for it. But, but the reality is looking, looking outside in, I mean, I'm a, I'm a long shot for the podium in a field like this. And, and I feel fortunate to have been able to run with those guys for so long. Maybe next time I hang on two miles longer and next time two miles longer. But, but I'm happy with the race. You know, I, I, I wanted something today that solidified the breakthrough that I had in Boston and, you know, established to myself that I'm a different marathoner going into this Olympic trial cycle than in, in this Olympic cycle than I was in the last one. And, and so I'm happy with my performance in that way. I think running a little bit faster and um, being in the race uh, certainly longer uh, validated that for me. And you know, as I get older, you, you realize more and more that the window's not always open. And so when, when I'm healthy and I'm fit, I want to race. This course gives me one more chance to run a, a, a hilly, technical, tough course one more time before the Olympic trials. Um, and, uh, and I hope that, that that does set me up well. I think I have some confidence. I found that today, a lot of times on these uphills, um, I was able to stick right on that pack and run with them and, and feel relatively relaxed. And so I think it validated some of the training we've been doing ahead of, ahead of the next Olympic cycle and, and uh, certainly gets me excited. I don't know that I'll go into that race uh, looking at myself as a favorite, but I will go into the race with some confidence um, that I can make the team. I'm a, I'm a stats guy, so I, uh, I wrote up this piece for myself before the 2016 trials, and I gave myself a 35% chance of making that Olympic team. And I felt fortunate to have ended up on that team, and, and I don't know what my chances are this time. I think they're better, uh, but, uh, but I'm excited to transition and, and look towards Tokyo.